was building on a lecture Versus coming daily under pressure Working on the plot and the scheme The true stock trademark is at the edge of your dreams I'm talking one One shot for the kill The breeze cut, freeze up Straight drop in the chills I'm talking Taking over pieces and shares A ball the sky high Check the movement is here Yeah Yeah It's one heart, one shot Now the future is yours Go Yeah it's one all one shot, now the future is yours, go! Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel, we're doing your... This is your mid-month crossing over to June. Yes, you've heard it first. This is the channel who has a mid-month crossing over to June. <laughs> um, why do I do this? So, because I just, I, I enjoy what I do. And this is the, in the morning, I'm so driven. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the fakeness is real, Sal. You're cracking up. No, okay, no. It's uh, it's called Sankranti, right? Uh, in astrology, this is when the sun shifts. The, we look at it where the actual placement of the planets are. Okay, so if you go to Sky app, okay, not the Tinder app, the Sky app, okay, you will see the sun has just entered Taurus, which is um, hello. That's your seventh house. So um, it just started. Um, it you know wait for the energies to settle. So th there's a big revelation between you and this person. It just step into Taurus. Um, it can just be all of a sudden revealing that they want to be with you. They want to be partnering with you. All these different things. But that's not the subject here. Okay, I'm not doing a chart reading. Um, I'm explaining to you why we do this. Okay, so that's that part. Okay, so mid month crossing over to June because of the movement of the planet. Now, we're going to be doing the girl deck and the tarot, but at the same time, if you guys are familiar, I used to do psychography, okay? No, not psychology, psychography, where I just scribble and then there are random messages that comes out. If it's for you, then that's good. If it's not, you know, just move forward to the tarot. It's, it's a second thing that I do. Okay, that's it. Okay, so let me get my... Um, uh, my paper over here. At the same time, check the comments. I always put there the recommended uh, reading. Um, that's a previous reading that's already have been predicted, which I'm still picking up from your energy, which is still going to be applicable for you. If you resonate with the title, you never resonate with a date, okay? Because you cannot say it's like, I vibe with a uh, number seven. No, you know, it's like, the, the title is what you should be focusing on, not the date of the prediction. The date is just for organization. Okay, it's like what I mentioned. You never, re, uh, you never um, resonate with the date until you're number two. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Okay, here we go. Let's see. What's going on? Um, hmm. uh, I feel here like you're just slowly um someone is either you're losing hope you're losing grip you're losing control um it can be at work situation you know it's like it's being you're being pushed to the edge okay and you feel that you know like as a person it's an individual um you're feeling that um it's just like well why why is it just me who's doing this so it's i feel like it's more of a work okay um you might feel that um because Mars is also in Taurus right now. If I'm, uh, let me just get the chart. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, chances are... Okay. Oh, no, Mars is in Gemini. Sorry. Mars is in Gemini. Um, chances are, you know, there was something that was... Because uh, you get Mars and then you get Sun. So, you, you feel a little bit pressure right now with the people around you. Because, of, you know, th there's just things around you right now. It's like it's trying to... It's like there's so much things going on there. It's so busy. And then, you know, it's like you know yourself. It's just like... Um, uh, I might lose my temper, you know, so try to take a chill pill also. Um, someone here can be also working for the food industry, okay? And if you're a chef, you're a server, you're a manager, you know, the food industry. Um, you might feel that you know, people are just piling up the order. I see it's like tickets are just coming through. It's just like order up, order up. And you're, you know, if you're a food attendant, then it's just like, you know, you get double sat. We know how it is when you get double sat. Mm -hmm, right? Triple sat if you have a fight with the hostess. Just saying. We know that. Mm, so your feelings is just like, why is it, why am I always, why is it, you know, why am I the one being sat? Okay. Come on, Cynthia. It's like you just set Steve over there, you know. So it's like you know, work is piling up, work is piling up, and it's pushing you to the to the limit right now. You will be able to handle it, so you ha you have nothing to worry. Okay. Anything else uh, about work piling up? Um, someone here wants to. Okay, that's weird. Okay, you might probably want to buy a. Uh, how to say this? Um, 
A portable house? Okay. I know what that means though. Um, a portable home. Okay. So you might just say, you know what, I want to buy a portable home. And that's it. You know, so again, that's where I see myself. Um, or you just want to buy a little tiny house. That's cute. I like the little tiny house. Uh, let me see here. Someone is also trying to think. It's just like maybe I have to go back to school. I want to learn something. Chances are you're just gonna enroll to my webinar. Just saying, okay? Because um, there's something that you wanna. Um, you feel like it's like you know, if I go back to school, I would have a sense of direction. Okay, so that's most of it. Yeah. So that's a psychography. I mean, it's just a random things. Okay. So let's do your tarot. Okay, some some people are a big fan of psychography. Okay, let's see what's going on with your tarot. Okay, da -da 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 -da. let's just begin this. All right, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Don't forget also the webinar. I'll discuss afterwards. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's see here. Tarot sync from the Scorpios. The sun card, and I talk about the sun. What does that mean? You gotta stay. Because it, the highlight of, you know, in the next 30 days is relationship, okay? Um, sun in seventh house. Sun in Libra is not, it's debilitated. Okay? It's challenged. Let's just say that. All planets are a challenge. Regardless of exaltation, debilitation, they work hard for wherever they're at. Um, I sense here there's growth in, in you know, um, with the relationship. Because the sun, you know, wherever the sun is also, it promotes growth, it promotes healing, but it also can burn through a lot of things. Um, as it steps in to the house of partnership, I'm telling you, things are lining up for the Scorpios. As each planet moves into a perfect position, it's going to line up and then things just keep manifesting in your end. Okay, It's called planetary alignment, not the Avengers. Okay, So... Um, it's it's coming towards you and it's again it's a perfect time it's a perfect moment and you will know um, that uh, how to say this how to sustain the relationship this is how the sun card is and it's also a yes if you had a question it's a yes first card is strongest you're gonna be happy with this person they're gonna be happy with you I sense it here ten of pentacles long-term relationship this is also abundance let's call it okay we know the drill Scorpios we gotta call it Pentacles, pentacles, and more pentacles. It's coming your way, okay? A life of ab you know, abundant joy and happiness. It can also be health, okay? For me, abundance in health is priceless, okay? No, uh, no king, no billionaire can buy health, not at all. So, but the sun is also about a rejuvenation, okay? So you, you probably feel very, very healthy. And from what I'm hearing, potent. So be careful if you're a guy... You don't want those swimmies going to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're ready, then you're ready. If not, mm -hmm. stay away. Okay, because it's a baby card. Someone here is also looking at moving in together. Mm -hmm. Know what that means? Ten of Pentacles is also, um, you know, a long term relationship, and this is about settling down. Someone is ready to settle. It can be a Leo rising, a Sun in Taurus, or a a mid and an Aries Taurus. Okay. King of Cups, which is you, you find a person that you will be, I feel like, being going to be retiring. Okay. Inhale, exhale, Scorpio. Inhale, exhale. Um, you find a person that you will be loving. There it is. Okay. Expression of feelings is right here. This is your 1-7 right now. Partnership is being born. You should watch the uh, Venus webinar because that's where you will see why the seventh house is very, very important. That's also available for download. Watch that class. Okay. It's in a website. Oh, I got two cards. You got the full card and the four of swords. This time, I feel like this person will give it a rest. Okay, meaning they would stop. You know, it's like if they were always contradicting. You know, between the two of you, and you guys have always, it's like, it's like you know, um, how to say, headbutting each other. This time, no, they're just gonna go the way that you wanna go. Mm hmm. Because the full card is right here. There's travel involved. Younger person. Um, I sense that this person likes to make you laugh, even though, trust me, they don't have humor, and you just have to roll with it, okay? You know how, you know, I've seen this in, what's it called, Modern Family or whatever, like those movies, or movies or series, it's like, when someone gives you something, and then this is gonna be like, <laughs> I know what that means, you will just always, it's like, yeah, that's my favorite, yes, you know, because they feel, 
that it's just like when they throw jokes or banter, you know, it's just like they get you and it's like, <laughs> this is hilarious. It's never funny though. Okay, so they would give you something and, you know, and they feel like it's just like, yeah, my Scorpio likes this. And then you just have to roll with it, never say what you truly feel. I know true, you know, honesty and truth, you know, should be. There, but when someone is being sincere, trying to get your attention, trying to get your love, and they don't, they always miss it. Just accept it. Don't say it. it's just like no, that's not funny. You're just gonna hurt the person because <laughs> they're trying. Let me balance the energy. Okay, you got it here. Ooh, okay. Look at this one. Of course, it has to come up with a Scorpio, King of Cups with a Seven of Swords. Okay. Ah, oh, sound the lie, the deceit. Right. I feel here. Someone has stolen your heart. This is the seventh house energy. Someone has been watching you, looking at you, and they're gonna steal you. Either that or someone's gonna steal your partner. You choose. Mm -hmm. Let me see. You got here four of pentacles. So if you're holding on to if someone is holding on to you right now and they, they don't wanna let go of you, it's because they know that someone is just gonna steal you away from them. They know. They know you're a catch, they know that you could you have something good going on in your life. And that's why they're still around you. And that's why they will just also say, it's like, yeah, let's give it a go. Okay, let's see here. Got your page of cups. I'm constantly looking at pictures, memoirs, you know, like things that you guys share. You know, it's like if you guys share tickets of a movie, concert tickets, whatever. Like this person is a very, very sentimental. You don't even know. Okay, like if you, you know, like this is a person, it's like if it's a feminine energy, right? You guys love to wear the hoodie, right? You guys love to take that hoodie from someone else. Okay, so this is that kind of energy. This is someone who saying, it's like, okay, um, um, is this mine? You know, it's like something like that. It's like, you know, this is a person also who's saying that it's just like, I have, um, you know, it's like, I, you know, like they, they always very, very sentimental. I'm not sure what that means, but anything that you give to them, they always treasure it or this is how they are, you know, to anything. They like to treasure garbage, basically. Mm -hmm. That's a page of cups energy. Because they hold on to you. You're not the garbage, though. They know that you are the prize. That's why they're holding on to you. If there was options before, they knew that they were holding on to something that wasn't giving um, a good energy towards them. And then they already have made their choice. Okay, Because they're holding on to you. Let's see what the girl deck is saying. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Karma is around stress, pressure, deadlines. What do I say? Work is filling up. Mm -hmm. And this is what it is. Work is piling up. Mm. So don't stress yourself though. Just you have to face those. Karma is around. It's always going to be there. Um, whether today, tomorrow, whatever day it is, it's, you have to face it. Deadlines are always going to be there. Work is always going to be there until you're retiring. So it's here. So uh, face it. Don't delay it. You know, Make sure you're on time. Make sure you just do one t one step at you know one step at a time. Okay, it's all about time management, of course. Like waking up on time and then you know committing, 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 committing to those things. All right. So that's that one. Um, Jupiter webinar. I've already spoken with you. If I'm not, then make sure to remember to sign up, Scorpio, because Jupiter is in Scorpio right now. Like what I mentioned, the planet of abundance, luck, and you know the spouse, the husband. This is your man. If you're looking for a masculine energy, this is it. Um, also, for as far as like manifestation, if you're an entrepreneur, you know, where's the luck? Where's the, um, you know, finances coming from? You know, this is that planet. Guru also is Jupiter, giving you the wisdom, the higher knowing. All those will be discussed in the webinar, which is in the link down there. Sign up early because we're going to open only a few spots because uh, so, that, so that I can entertain questions during the live webinar. Okay. I'll see you guys again. Link down there. Follow the extended read. I'll see you. Um, where is this going? Um, the person is um, admiring you, and I feel like one longevity of relationship. We'll see how it develops. So because right now it's a far back, because they're just holding on to you. Nothing concrete yet. I'll see you guys again. Bye. Hi Scorpios. So this is the extended. I highly, highly, highly encourage you join me in the extended. Um, of course this is in YouTube on how much I've never seen such a you know one of my I get. It's like I'm just floored on how each card was just on point and I wouldn't do this, uh, you know, excerpt if it wasn't that magical. So if you resonate in YouTube, I highly, highly, this is probably just the last reading that you would need to watch ever. Okay. So if you go to the extended, you will know why. And I'm like, it's like, 
I can't believe how how much magical that is. And I would never do this, like you know, just to you know. But, but just I'm just saying. It's like if you resonate, go there. You will know why I'm catching my breath. And I'm gonna put this reading one in my, one of my folders. I will save this reading. <laughs> okay. I'll see you here in the extended. Okay. Bye, guys.